What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Face the Nick. Yeah, it's another video, hair transmission video. I want to show you guys how I achieve this color of hair. Oh my god, it's looking so beautiful. Let me just come in for you guys. Oh man, are you really, really in love with this hair? I'm so, 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 so in love with this hair. I've been seeing people dyeing hair on YouTube, but I've not really tried it. So this was my first attempt, and it really come out so beautiful. Wow. So proud of myself. You can tell me congratulations, Lisa. I'm really so proud of myself. So I'm gonna show the process how I dye this color of hair using affordable products. And this hair is really affordable too. It's main and um, Miss Lady. That is the name of the brand. So you can search for it and follow them on Instagram. Order for them on Jumia, whatever you wanna be. To order from them, okay? I uh have. -huh. Let me see. Continue. Today's video is gonna look like a a vlog video i don't know how to say it because it's not really detailed enough but the hair process was really detailed but the uh, the makeup in process i just did my foundation did my highlighter did my lipstick so you can see i'm not really ready to go out today so i'm just looking so chill okay all right so i hope you enjoyed the video just if you enjoyed the video just give me a thumbs up by liking commenting and subscribe to my channel so this is the hair we're gonna be working on i'm just showing you guys before we start the job okay so this is the product of developer that i use in this video you can get it from anywhere it's really affordable and this is the product of the jig that i used to brush it so i just add my brush into it now then before adding the developer i'm just putting the quantity that i know should be enough for, for brushing the hair so just use your eye gauge or you can use something to measure but i just use my eye gauge i just know that this thing will be enough the quantity that i major over there will be enough so i'm gonna add my brush to it now no the developer i'm gonna miss it with the developer i didn't do much please i can't really explain more just look at it no much explanation on it After missing it, I noticed that it was too thick, so I will, I'm going in with more developer to just make it to be very light. So I'm missing again. So this is the consistency that you need after missing everything. You want it to be this light. Okay, so after that, I started applying my mixture into the hair
so after applying everything i was just watching it so to achieve the color that i really needed i don't want it to be too too much so i'm just brushing it in i want the audio pillow to go inside make sure after applying it you need to brush everything so that some place to the place that the bridge and the developer did not reach so that to help it to go inside more So this is the color that I needed and as you can see everywhere is good, good to go. So I'm just aligning it a bit before washing it out. Yeah, this is the color that I needed. So I just proceed to wash it out before applying my shampoo and condition. Hi guys, so I'm going to start off using this look of me, this primer to prime my face and I'm using this brush that I got from Zara to prime my face. So 
So after applying this primer, I like it to dry up first because it's kind of watering and it's dried up, it turned out to be so white. That's interesting over here, like a mask on your face. I really like this um, primer because it's really good and it's good for your face too. Whenever you do makeup and take away the makeup, I like the way your skin is soft. So that kind of a thing. That's question. That is what I'm really looking for in this primer. And I really love it. It's not making it to be so old after taking your makeup out. But now it may look so crazy, so that you don't really want to use it all for a client or for yourself. But trust me, it's really, really good for your skin. For me, it's really good for my skin and also good for some of my clients. None of them have always complained about, oh, this primer is not good. No, they have not complained. So that is why I really love it. And if you know that you don't really like it, you don't need to use it. For foundation, I'll be using the L'Oreal and the Ezekiel foundation. And the Ezekiel is shade 35, while the L'Oreal is shade 355. So I'm going to use this brush that I just got. I have a set of two of this brush, so I'm going the other set to apply the foundation page. That, that one is the um, Ezekiel, while the lighter one is from L'Oreal. So I'm going to use this L'Oreal first. So I'm just blending the foundation after applying it. I'm blending the two shapes together now. Take your time to blend. Just tap out the excess product on it. Same time tapping in the surface spray that I just sprayed to my face. Moving up to the concealer, I'm going to light my face using the Elegant Pro Concealer to come. So I light my face. So after applying the concealer on my face, I will leave it for a bit for the concealer to set before blending it. You see the part that I apply the concealer on my face? Yeah, 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 and yeah. So I would love to contour before blending the concealer, but I just want to blend them before contouring. I don't want to do a cream contour today, I'll do a dry contour. So when applying your concealer, you just allow it to set a little bit. But for Ezekiel Concealer, after applying it, just blend it out a little. Not blend it out instantly because it easily gets dry. But for concealer, it takes time for the concealer to set before blending it. And so I'm just waiting for the concealer to set before blending it. In my last video, I made a detailed video how to blend your concealer. So that is why I finished blending the side, just leaving this other part. So I'll just want to blend it on camera for you to see how I blend my concealer. But in case you are wondering how to, you want to learn how to blend your concealer, just check my previous video. I'm going to link it up here so you can see it after watching this one. You can just go and click that video. I made a very detailed 
video on how to blend your concealer okay so just check it out up here contour using this shade to contour this shade to contour and I'll be using this other shade to contour so I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use this shade to contour my nose so I'll be using this shade to contour my the rest part of the face so I'm gonna set my lesser part using this shade over here 